welcome back to our channel today's class i am going to teach about cmos switches so previous video we discussed mos switches and the symbol of n mos switch and p mos switch then truth table for uh, the corresponding n mos switch and p mos switch if you need a kindly refer the video now we move on the session so cmos switch so what is the abbreviation of cmos complementary metal oxide semiconductor so this cmos switch consists of p mos and n mos switches it consists of combinations of p mos and n mos so it's a p mos this one is n mos switch so this c mos switch is defined with the keyword c mos so c mos switch defined with the keywords c mos now i draw the structure of c mos switch it has a two transistor p mos and n mos so it's a simple structure so it has a four terminal so this two terminal act as a control signal that namely called as n control and p control so this one is input data this one is output so out this one is out so based on the control signal the data is connected to output so here data n control p control and output so using this table i explain the diagram So let me assign n control. So n control equal to one, p control equal to zero. So n control signal is one, p control signal is zero. In this case, this transistor turn on. So T one and T two. So both the transistors are turn on. If both the transistors are turn on, the data is connected to output. So this one is data. So this data is connected to output. output equal to data so output equal to data then second case if n control signal goes to zero p control signal goes to one so in this case these two transistors or turn off so n control signal zero p control signal one in this case these two transistors are turn off so output equal to high impedance so high impedance state so its operations of cmos switch then come to the verilog instantiation for cmos switch verilog instantiation so this cmos switch keyword is cmos cmos then c1 c1 is the device name So within a bracket, mention the input variables and output variable. So here output variable is output. So output comma data comma these two control signals. So N control comma P control. So it's a relog instantiation for CMOS switches. So alternative representation. So N MOS. This one is alternate. N MOS, N one. So let me consider this one. So output, comma data, comma N control. So output, comma data, comma N control. Then P MOS, P one. Output, comma data, comma P control. So it's a alternative verilog instantiation for uh, CMOS switches. So I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.